So if a vegan, by definition, is a person who does not consume or use any animal products, this ponytailed stallion, Derek Nance, could be defined as the precise antithesis of that. Now, as a courtesy, I'm gonna put up this warning that's at the beginning of the Source Barcroft TV video. So if you're sensitive to footage of raw meat being prepared and or consumed, you may want to nut the hell up and watch the whole damn thing anyways, cause your watch time is my metaphorical oxygen. <laughs> now, for real though, just dip your toes into this intro. About 90% of my diet is raw sheep meat. I'm just some buddy living in obscurity, eating my intestine smoothies in my kitchen. You see, that wasn't that bad, and if you can handle Derek eating raw sheep meat like an apple and slurping down intestine smoothies mid-afternoon, the rest of this is gonna be a breeze, so just buckle up and save your bitchin' for the comments section. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new G Fuel shaker filled with your mom's back sweat. My name is Leon Lashia and I'm so appreciative you decided to join me here for just a little bit. You know, in hindsight now, I think I made the intro about back sweat because later on in this video, I have a fun little surprise for you guys that heavily features my own back sweat and I think subconsciously I wanted to ease you into it so it wouldn't be too jarring. But enough about all that, let's uh, get back to learning a little more about our carnivorous friend here, Derek Nance. My name's Derek Nance. I'm from Lexington in the state of Kentucky. Okay, right off the bat, is there anything more cliche than Derek being from Kentucky? Like, you know a man that lives off of only raw meat isn't going to be from Seattle, Washington, or some progressive blue state. You know, Kentucky just does things differently. For the last nine years, I've been sourcing and butchering and eating raw animals, and I've never felt healthier. This is a ram's testicle from a three-year-old ram. It has a more salty taste. It's not like red meat, it's more of like a seafood almost. Dude, I know, tell me about it. It's actually that extra salt content that really turned me off personally from the three-year-old ram testicles. And don't get me wrong, I love hanging animal balls by a hook in a fridge in my kitchen, but I much prefer like the five-year-old dried goat anus. It's much less salty. Growing up, I just had the standard American diet, and had allergies and headaches and asthma and other signs of, you know, food intolerance issues where I noticed certain foods were really giving me trouble. Okay, current topic aside, the American diet is pretty scuffed, especially if you're trying to stay on a budget. I mean, the stuff that goes on at a mass production level to keep up with the demands of a population that is exponentially growing is pretty scary, quite honestly. Which is why I keep my diet strictly to white wine and garden worms. I'll chew a wad like rawhide, I and mean, I'll just chew it like gum throughout the day. I think it helps polish my teeth. In fact, four out of five dentists actually recommend chewing rawhide throughout the day over flossing, but you and I will never hear that because Big Vegan has lobbied millions to keep that information hidden from you. I was having so much trouble digesting everything else that meat seemed to work well for me, and I just felt like this was it. All right, so. Ready to prepare a stomach smoothie? Absolutely not, Derek, but it, it's your show, so I'll let you uh, steer the wheel. You can smell it, too. So here's the small intestine. The whole parts, you know, different parts of the intestines. They all go into my smoothie. And I can eat this and fe be fine with it without any fear that the bacteria are gonna come out to get me. Because I actually think that they're beneficial. So. One for the smoothie. Little intestine for me. Mm, mm, that bacteria just has the sweetest aftertaste. I just make it into a smoothie and it just makes it like all cream together and it's just much more consistent. You know, I was on the fence about this smoothie before I heard his description of it. Makes it like all cream together. What's more appetizing than pulverizing an assortment of animal intestines in a food processor to the point where it all creams together? Mm, God, that sounds nice. And my girlfriend made me designate a blender because I used to use her blender. Bitch. It holds that residual. Stomach smell. Save that for dessert. Talk about an unsupportive girlfriend. Are you kidding me? She can't even put up with a little bit of residual stomach sm smell in the blender for the sake of the relationship? Oh, God. I'd prefer to go directly to the source. I'll drive out to small family farm. I load up the animals in my truck and I take them back to the house here and uh, I butcher them in the backyard. It's fun. I'm sorry, what? I butcher them in the backyard. It's fun. Eh. 
Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, laser tag, going to live sporting events, horseback riding, video games, filling up your pickup truck full of animals and slaughtering them all in your backyard. These are all just typical fun activities. Sure, the last one might be a little bit less traditional, but it's definitely not a red flag. Psycho. Although, Nigel, I would recommend you definitely watch your back if you go laser tag. Where the hell is Nigel? Has he not been here the whole time? What the f what is he doing, dude? <sighs> hey, hon, have you seen Nigel by any chance? Uh, I believe I just saw him going to the garage. Wait, the garage? What the hell is he doing out there? You know, hold on, can you take this for a second? You hear that? Is that, is that my song? Yo, what the hell is this, bro? You know we're supposed to be upstairs recording. We have a deadline to hit. What's it look like, fat man? I'm celebrating. Celebrating what, dude? I got my own U2's vinyl figure, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, your boy made it. Check these out. All right, first of all, bro, it says Leon Lush on the box, not Nigel. This is my accomplishment. Okay, and secondly, you just ruined the surprise I was supposed to make about my vinyl figure in the video I'm recording upstairs that you're supposed to be there for. Oh, I'm sorry. You seem to have me confused with someone who gives a shit. Not to mention, Leon, you know deep down that I'm the only damn reason anyone's going to buy a single one of these toys. All right, you know what, Nigel? Not today, bro. I'm sick and tired of this disrespect, bro. This isn't, nah, I'm not taking, this is bullshit. This little bit's gonna learn something today on my life. I'm tired of this little asshole. I'm the reason anyone even knows what your name is. This is my motherfucking toy, b uh, I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. Nigel takes pleasure in trying to ruin every big moment in my life, but we've moved past it and we've made our amends. Did we though? That being said, I am so thrilled to finally introduce you guys to the Leon Lush and Nigel U2's vinyl figure. Now these babies are launching next week as a pre-order on Saturday, August 3rd at 3 p.m. EST, only from U2s.com. So tell Siri or Alexa or whoever your girl is to set a reminder because this pre-order is only available for 24 hours in limited quantities, and once they're gone, they are gone forever. Now some good news if you worried that your paycheck might not land in time because I'm giving away 10 of these Leon toys for free. You just have to go to the giveaway link in my description. It takes you to the giveaway page. You just gotta show some love to my friends over at YouTube by checking out their socials, hitting them with some follows. The more actions you complete, the better your odds of winning. Also, check out my Instagram where I'm doing an additional giveaway of 10 more Leon and Nigel toys, so 20 of you in total will be getting it for free. Those winners will be announced 12 hours before the drop on August 3rd. Now, I've been working closely with YouTube's for months on this toy, and I'm so pumped to finally have it going live. They're handcrafted, they're extremely durable, and studies show that owning one actually triples your sex appeal. That's according to Nigel, at least. Since this is a limited release, I expect these to move quick. You may be familiar with some of the previous U2's drops that have been selling out really fast. People are already reselling them for two to three X the price of the pre-order. So for all you guys asking me in the comments over the years, Leon, where'd you get Nigel? How can I get my own Nigel? Now's your chance. You just have to deal with the fact that it comes uh, with Leon Lush attached to it. So go enter the giveaways right now for your chance to win a free vinyl figure. And if that doesn't pan out, be sure to solidify your rank in the Tomato Mafia by copping your very own on August 3rd at 3 p.m. EST only at U2s.com. You know I appreciate you guys. Hey, where am I gonna sit? Uh, okay. Right here, Dad, sit me, with me, sit with me. Here. Well, let me sit in between. I have four kids and I, I live with my partner my girlfriend. I mean, for what it's worth, Derek looks like a pretty down-to-earth dude that just found a particular diet to suit his lifestyle. I mean, he looks healthy, his skin is glowing, he's got a beautiful beard and illustrious ponytail, four beautiful kids, and yeah, slaughtering animals in his backyard for fun is a bit of a curveball, but he's even got a girlfriend. What's your excuse, gentlemen? My girlfriend was primarily vegetarian. And she's a vegetarian? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This man is a sorcerer. I would have probably remained a vegetarian if Derek hadn't come into my life. And now she's an ex-vegetarian? Are you serious? Derek may be a little peculiar, but you know he's bringing that good dick, okay? If he can get that woman to start eating meat again. I think that the way Derek harvests meat is much more ethical than buying it from a grocery store. You know what? Maybe Tana Mojo could learn a thing or two from Derek about how to ethically harvest meat. <laughs> Got him. A full-grown sheep around 175 pounds for, I mean, 200 American dollars, and you can live off of that for about a month. And that's 90% of my food. A 90% sheep meat diet. <laughs> 
That is a level of commitment I envy. I've had my kids be a part of the process since uh, they were real little. I, I'm pretty sure everyone would think it's strange. Okay, the kids are self-aware. Check. That's good. We're used to it. Well, my friend, he said it was, it was kind of weird. I said, yeah, it is weird. I knew it was a little weird when on my third birthday, my dad got me a sheep meat birthday cake and the candles, we couldn't stick the candles in it because it was made of meat. And that's, that's when I knew it was weird. I had issues with the teachers reporting me because they found out that I was butchering animals in front of the kids. God, come on, not even Kentucky's safe anymore? I mean, you butcher animals in front of your children, they, they catch wind of that in the school system up here in New England, you probably get life in prison. But in Kentucky, that's like normal sh Why? But now it's the internet, it's 2019, the internet's ruining it for everyone. When a man can't even butcher animals in his backyard in front of his kids, a little family bonding experience, and you gotta hear about it from the school system. Pathetic. All that's been resolved after I've explained to the social workers it's what I do to harvest my foods. What, do you want the man to starve to death? This is ethical harvesting here, folks. By the way, sucking a warm egg out of its shell when it's fresh out of the hen's pussy? Mwah. <laughs> We've been raised under the paradigm that germs are the root cause of all disease. We've decided to just sterilize everything to, to cook the life out of it. Can't say I disagree with them there. I mean, you pretty much have to grow and slaughter your own food at this point if you want to get something that hasn't been processed in some way. So this compost heap's been going for about five years and it's really rich. Like I'll, I'll bury whole bones down here, kind of like a dog. If I feel like I need something to chew on. Let me ask you, what do you like to have for a snack? Nutri-grain bars, maybe a banana with some peanut butter on it? Yeah, that's what peasants have, okay? My man Derek over here is a five-year-old bone graveyard full of nutrient-dense bones he can just pick up at a moment's notice and gnaw on for nourishment and vitamins. I don't really eat the meat, but I do eat the maggots. Dear God. These maggots are evolved to digest rotten flesh. I could probably utilize those digestive enzymes and bacteria to digest my own food. I like to do a little aged meat with each of my meals. So I leave this liver hanging up here for about two months. See, there's actually mold growing on it. And sometimes I'll just eat it right off the beef. Yeah, I mean, at this point, well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll eat it and just the taste of it just wakes me up. Some people drink coffee, other people, you know, have their morning stimulant and this is, Mine. Some people enjoy coffee, some Kyles prefer Monster Energy, while others prefer aged liver mold to get their workday started. In fact, if aged liver mold doesn't become one of Red Bull's next flavors, I'm gonna consider that a huge missed opportunity. Maybe talk to Ninja about a collaboration there. There's only been a couple instances of like diarrhea and a food poisoning from a eating old raw chicken. You know, I did notice they haven't shown him eating any raw chicken in this. It sounds like he ate that old raw chicken once, salmonella clapped back, and he learned his lesson. Good for him. I hope to eat the raw meat diet for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, I mean, I've invested 10 years in it, and, I'm, and now I'm really curious to see, you know, how far I can push it say if I could live to be 80 years old. Now they must have left this out of the video, but he must supplement his diet with something, just a small, minimal amount of carbohydrates or sugar of some sort because your brain literally needs glucose to function. Um, but it wouldn't be as cool, so they just made the focus on the all meat diet, which is fine. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this diet. If you're interested, maybe we could do like a group 30 day challenge of eating raw meats only. 90% sheep meat, baby. The most shocking thing is that this guy actually has a girlfriend. <laughs> Amen, an ex-vegetarian nonetheless. Am I the only one who sees that this guy has great looking skin? That's what I said. It's kind of insane, right? It makes me curious about the diet a little bit. I'm 50 years and single, and he's married? I have no idea how this universe works. I would start with owning less cats. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the skit in the middle. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm very excited for this announcement of these uh, vinyl figures. If you want to enter the giveaway, that would be awesome. And uh, if you would consider buying a toy when they come out, that would mean the world to me as well. I hope you guys like them. If you haven't subscribed yet and you decided to, that would mean the world to me. And if you could do me one favor before you go, just hop in your dad's pickup truck and travel around town gathering all the sheep you can find, bring them to your backyard, and just have a blast slaughtering them all. Then fill up your pockets with raw sheep meat 
meat and hop in a cold shower for about 45 minutes and have yourself a nice good cry because Derek Nance has a girlfriend and you still don't. And then you just drop your shorts and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. You, 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 you.